thank you for tuning in for another episode of Encounter. Today, we have a new guest. We have uh, Dr. Gopal Sami Naidu, who is a chemist, he's a pharmacist, he's also a therapist, but most importantly, an expert in medicinal plants. Dr. Naidu, very, very warm welcome and thank you for being with us thank in the studio. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you. Uh, how do you you're a chemist, you're a pharmacist, you're a therapist, you're an expert in medicinal plants. I mean, you have worked many years, but you're not based in Mauritius. No, I'm not based in Mauritius. I live permanently in Switzerland. And we are working with a company, a major company in Germany, and I'm traveling a lot. And because I'm a Mauritian, I come regularly to Mauritius. I come three times a year. We are doing a project on medicinal plants in Mauritius. Oh, that's uh, very nice to have your ex for you to share your expertise to Mauritius. Exactly. I started this project three, four years ago when I came to Mauritius and I was talking with experts in this field. And I have to say something that I did my, my PhD on medicinal plants of Mauritius 20 years ago. Would you please tell us a few of these plants so far and what we can do with them? Okay. One of the plants, we have got a lot of plants, we can start with mint. Mint is very good for digestion. You have got biryani, you have eaten something with fat. You can take just a few leaves of, uh, of a mint and you put it in water. You can put it in, in hot water to infuse. You, you can do both of them. You can put it in cold water, but if you put it in cold water, you have to leave it a long time, half an hour at least. But you can use boiling water, and when you put just a few leaves of, uh, of a mint, and you just make an infusion five to six minutes. This and will help with... It's good for the digestion. All right. Okay. It's good for digestion. It's also good for sleeping. And it works on your mind. People making a lot of... Uh, they think a lot. They're thinking uh, what we'll do tomorrow. This means not only the digestion. You know, there's a connection between the, the, the nervous system of and course. our digestive system. This means mint is a very good plant. Then you have another... So if, uh, before yes. we... Mint is best to have before going to sleep so that you can yes i feel just after after having dinner just All after right. having just instead of having uh, a, another drink sweet drink is good also for the teeth it's going for the digestion for your cleaning your teeth and for the mind what would be another plant in mauritius that would be very good medicinally well, I like also the thyme, which we call Timus vulgaris. We have thyme, which is dita. Uh, dita, okay. which is dita. There is one advantage: children like them. It has a very good sm a taste because when you give a, a, a remedy, children say, "No, I don't like this." And one application you can use it previously. What what we mentioned with a mint, just making an infusion. But now there is another method: you can take boiling water, really boiling water, in a small in a small casserole. In a bowl. In a in bowl. A bowl. Yeah. And you put a few, a few leaves, five, ten, ten, just take a branch of thyme, yeah, yeah, yeah? Yeah. you put it there. And then you take a cloth or you can put a handkerchief on your, on your, on your head and you make an inhalation of a vapor. And you just take it in the vapor. After three, four, five minutes, you can add more boiling water and then you put some more time in it. The operation can last five to ten minutes. So why would people, what, what are the problems when you do this procedure? Is a congested chest, exactly. throat, throat uh, sinus, sinus, everything. Does which, that work for headaches? For headache, it can work also, but it's more for the lungs. Everything with the lungs, cough, uh, influenza, or prevention like that. Or you just have the first signs of a, an influenza. You think people around you are... So prevention Ill. is better than Prevention you. is better than, than when you so are So you Ill. would just uh, inhale the vapor, which is a yes. mixture of water exactly. and time. Yeah. And inhale it, and you would feel your lungs clearing exactly. out. Exactly, you will feel it immediately. Uh, what about people who have congested lungs, like they have phlegm and... Uh, if, if, if they take their synthetic medicine and in addition to this method, it can help. In many cases, we, we just like a... We, we call this thing not really a medication, but it's like a health supplement. Just it's like, like a therapy. It's a therapy, in fact. Okay. In fact, you can do it. I have good results with it. We had a professor in, in France. He was saying one of the best uh, remedy after an operation is the combination of thyme and propolis. You know what is propolis? What from the bees. No, propolis from the bees. What we Honey. Yeah, and you take honey, and uh, some people they take. He said that he found himself if you take thyme and you put one one spoon of, of honey. honey in this water, it's still better. 
when you inhale you exactly so you inhale the properties of honey and thyme, thyme. in yes. boiling water in boiling water he was studying a lot of honey and he found the best result he got was the combination of honey and thyme this is available to everyone everybody can do it these things are known since uh, thousands of years we did not uh, we did not invent it so we are rediscovering it we are rediscovering it yeah exactly uh, one thing what the, our auditors have to know the first synthetic medication on the market is aspirin and it is only 110 years old <laughs> and uh, ayurvedic medicine has a story of 5000 years surely chinese medicine 3000 years this exactly. means 80 percent of our world population is using plants. This means the story of modern synthetic drugs is always derived from medicinal plants. So anytime there's a problem, we can always go out there, get a few leaves, get a few roots, get a few branches and make our own medicine. Definitely, definitely. And another plant which you most Mauritian people know is Ayapana. Okay. Ayapana. This is a plant with a universal properties. You can use it for anything. We call it a universal remedy. This means this one you don't even have to be ill. Simply you just take Ayapana. And the Chinese, they say, you go to the doctor when you are, you are in good form. Do, do, you, do you infuse the Ayapana? You can, Ayapana, you can make infusion, same as the mint. It's always a good practice to drink it once or twice a week? You can do it once, twice a week. What I like is sometimes you change it. You say one time you take mint, one time you take chamomile, one time you take... You don't, you of just, course, of you course. You don't take the same remedy two, three times. You eliminate any possibility of a toxicity. You can just simply don't take anything two, three days, and when you say the third day, you use it. You have to use your intuition. You say, today I feel I need a mint. So yeah. what are the benefits of Ayapana? What does it help you fight? The Ayapana is something which is very universal. You can take it for sore throat, you can take it, you are not feeling well. It has a so bright property, just like the neem. Okay. I think this is something which is universal. You don't even have to be ill to take it. You the name which is known as the Tulsi plant. Tulsi plant, yes, the Indian one. I yeah. think Mauritian like Ayapana. It's okay, really yeah. good. Okay. It's really good. And also uh, the Tulsi plant also, you can also drink it. You can make a paste out of it. Yes. Uh, but which is more, very interesting is um, the neem plant can be used for injuries and scratches also. You can use it. And uh, it's a tradition from many cultures. You just put the leaf on your skin. Just Without doing anything? Skin. Yes. You know, when you have got all these children disease, you should not scratch. And when you scratch yourself, it bleeds and then it will leave scars. Scars and infections. And scars and infection. And when you take the leaf, it is, uh, you, are, you are calm. It, don't give, um, it will calm you and you it will not irritate your skin. Either. And when you don't scratch, you don't have side effects. And this is one of our properties because most people know La Rougeole. Of course. It lasts two, three days. And in this period, you have to be clean. And for me, the Tulsi, you, you, it, it has these properties. As in you drink it or you make a paste and put it on yourself? You can use it, yes, yes. Both ways? Both ways you can do it. You can even, you can use it even for rinsing your mouth. Uh, it's good also. That's, well, that's why very useful tips uh, to our viewers. Yeah. I'm sure they must be loving it. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned also there is the turmeric. Turmeric. Turmeric, I remember as a child. Which is saffron. Which is saffron. The saffron. It has two big properties. I remember as a child, we used to use, uh, you boil milk, and when the milk and is warm, you put a spoon of saffron You in put it. a spoon of saffron. The, um, I think that the best property is when you use saffron vert, when it is still green, what you can get in the market. What you use as powder, you can use it. So you use, you're, you're saying you use the green one because the yellow one is mainly used for cooking? For cooking. You can use it. Yes. For medicinally, the green one is better. The green one is better. And then when you have got cough, you just take it as a kin, as a child. I remember we used to use, uh, drink warm milk. With warm water, warm milk, and put a spoon of it. A yeah. spoon of it, yeah. You should not put too much because the taste will not be, it's not tasty. So probably a half a teaspoon? Half a teaspoon, maybe, maybe better. Okay. But another property of a saffron is that you crush it. This, you need green saffron. And uh, as a root, you crush it. Uh, and you put it directly on your skin. 
it has properties on, on the skin disease. And you, are you saying the roots of the saffron plant? Yes, I'm talking about the roots of a saffron. You crush it, you make a maceration, you just put a bit of water, and just you just like concom, people doing a mask. Okay. You can put it. I remember when I used it as a child, you feel as it, it's absorbing water on it. So that's a beauty tip for all our viewers, especially all the ladies out there. Exactly. You can use turmeric roots as cosmetic. A, as a cosmetic, and yes. it's natural. It's natural. It's, uh, all kind of skin disease, especially on the face. How, can, do you know how to prepare it and how long you should leave it on? Yes. In fact, you should. You will feel it yourself at the beginning. You feel it. There's a, you feel how it's taking water from your skin. Okay. It, I think a good mask could be half an hour. Half have, an hour. Half an hour. You leave it to dry, and then you'll see also when you put it, it's falling. And it's, <laughs> it's falling. And then you have to wash your face with water, but it will be a bit yellow. So that means if you have to go to a wedding, don't do it immediately. Do it on the eve. You have to do it on the eve or even two days before. Two days before. Yeah, you have to remove a yellowish. So let's say yeah. I've taken the roots, I've cleaned it. Yeah. What do I do with the roots? I cut it off. You, and, you uh, can cut it yeah. and uh, in Mauritius, a roscari. Of right, course, of Roscari, course. Or, you, a or a blender. Yes, yes. It's for, and then you have a paste and you put water. It has, uh, you have to like, like uh, just put applying it on your, on your face. It has to be watery. Otherwise, otherwise, you can't put it as a paste. Put like on it. You top it on it. You can yeah. put it also on places on your skin. Okay. A skin disease. Wow, that's very interesting. Yes. And uh, what are the other plants that you have studied in Mauritius? Uh, there is a plant which Mauritian call Le Pok Pok. The scientific name is Cardiospermum. Cardiospermum. And in Europe, we call it, this plant has properties going in the direction of cortisone. You know, cortisone is one of the biggest medications what you can have. That's why Mauritian people, they use it also for skin disease. Are there any other plants you would like to use? There is a plant which I'm studying actually. They, they, it's called Bois Fond d'Aman. You can buy it at the market. You know, in the Mauritius, you have got the people, people selling medicinal plants. Yeah. And uh, I used to work with this plant. I wrote my thesis on this plant. What are the properties and benefits? One of, of the properties is when people have diabetes, prevention for diabetes, or the side effects of diabetes. Mm -hmm. You are using it. This means we are making experiment to see and to prove it if it is really reducing sugar in your body. So you can use it as a tisane. Have, have the results been uh, conclusive so far? We are studying it. As a medication, it works. But as a tisane, it's a bit weak. Okay. Weak. But some people, they are happy. They suggest removing sugar. You know, when you are drinking a lot of sugar, it's important to make a prevention, removing of the course. sugar. Of yeah. course, of course. And that will be interesting, prevention. Dr. Naidu, you have studied all these medicinal plants in Mauritius. Uh, would you advise people to have these plants in their backyard? Yes and no. If you have got, a, most Mauritians have a small garden. I think it's really, I've seen it. Onion, people can have onion. Onion have also properties, medicinal properties, thyme. If they can do it, yes, they can do it. They can and use mint it is easy to plant. Very easy, thyme, very easy to plant. They can use it as spice. Yes. They can use it, um, you know, onion is also good for protection of uh, um, insects. They don't like onions. They don't like the aromatic, uh, odor coming from yeah, time. It repels insects. It's a repellent. This yeah. means if you are there, mosquitoes don't like them. So okay. it's good to have them. You can use it in your kitchen. You can use it as infusion, as we said. But you can also use it as cosmetic. You can also have in your garden, if you have place, the turmeric. The only problem when it start, when you start growing turmeric, it will expand everywhere in your <laughs> garden. So you have to be careful. Maybe one advice will be you make a small place. Yeah, you just so that make, it grows there. Exactly. Exactly. Otherwise, it will become invasive plant, and this we have to be careful. So, what are the plants that you're studying at the moment? In fact, we have got a list of 118 plants from our system. In Mauritius? In Mauritius, I think we can get 30 of them. 30 okay. from these 118, because our company is an international company. We are studying plants from many uh, studies from many countries and Mauritius is one of a program and you were talking about medicinal plants some medicinal plants you can find it abroad like chamomile you have it in Mauritius but what I think the future of Mauritius is to study endemic plant 
endemic plants, plants which have not been described in the literature abroad. If you talk about time, you just go on the internet, you find yeah, this yeah. information. But I think the future is making Mauritius a real health, uh, a hub, health hub, where the people say, I'll, I'll just give you another example, Baume du Pérou. Some people in Mauritius, they know it. A very important plant also it received from Grand Maman and they put it in water and it has a lot of properties. What other properties? It can be for the immune system, it can be for the nervous system, it can be also for menstrual disease, hormonal disease, and this is a very, very well-known plant. Another one also from Mauritius which I like is a tree, it's called the noni. Noni. Have you heard of it? Noni. noni, I've heard of noni. Yeah. Yeah. And noni is very good for the immune system. You have got it in many countries. We make extract juice of noni and it will boost your immune system. This means before having a cough, before having influenza, or if you've got some, something which is not healing, you can take it. It's very good adjective for your health, noni. So what, what are the plants that you would advise people to have in their backyard then? Mint, is, mint of any in any case, thyme, thyme. and neem, neem. But neem is a tree, you Alpha. know. It depends. No, but you can you can always trim you it can uh, you can have it also, and uh, we are studying also um, properties of other plants. Uh, uh, Coriander, uh, Cotomilin Mauritius. Coriander. Uh, coriander. It's good for digestion. A lot of, we are studying this plant. Uh, I think onion is very important. Onion, ginger, ginger, we didn't mention it, ginger, turmeric. And, uh, well, ginger is known to, to have many benefits. Uh, yes. It has been, yeah. you just like in, in all Asian countries, they use it, they call it uh, a tonic for, the, for memory. Exactly. For the memory. And uh, all people, they take, they, you, you know, in a plant they call ginkgo biloba. You have it also in Mauritius, but you can't cultivate it in your garden. But ginger, you can do it. It has something, a property which is identical, very good for the memory. It's also good for the digestive system and also for allergies. One thing which is very important for, the, for our emission, on this planet you have got two kinds of medicinal plants. One kind of medicinal plant, we call it non-toxic. This means you can make an infusion, you have got in Mauritius, Moringa, eh? Moringa. You can, uh, you have got chamomile, you have got mint, you have got uh, thyme, like that. You, this means oh, you can just simply put it in water, they are not toxic, there is no big danger. Now there is a certain category of plant, medicinal plant, which is very, very, very toxic. This means you have to know it, just like uh, if you take this plant, you put it in water, you drink it, you just drink it once, you are dead. This means there's a lot of active ingredient which is toxic for the human being. We call it alkaloids. So what are these plants? We have it also in Mauritius. I know the Latin name. The most important, we, have got, we call it aconite. Aconite is one of the most important plants. And um, people give it in Europe when you have got a shock. Where are you going forward with all these studies? This result, we use it for Europe because uh, we, we, are, we have to document it. You know, some people say this plant is good for this one, but we don't have a scientific documentation. And this is what is missing. Just saying, that's why in Mauritius we are working with medical doctors. They just relate, okay, we have been giving this plant for this disease and have this result and we are making a documentation. It will, it's a long work, it can take 10 years, but I think in the next 10 years, people will ask more and more for natural products. This is a tendency, you see it in Europe, we are reducing the use of pesticide, herbicide, and we are going more and more for natural remedy. You know, the best remedy is what you eat in your food. Of course. What you have, you are what you are eating. You are what you eat, of course. Exactly, and the best doctor is yourself. You are the best doctor, you know your own body, you know what you need. I think this simple advice can help you, just like eating an apple. Dr. Nandu, uh, you have studied many plants. Which plant is your favorite, most intriguing plant? Well, there are two kinds of plants. We have got plants which are medicinal plants, which everybody can use, and then there is another plant which are toxic, and we never talk about it. And this needs to go to professional. This you can't do it in your garden, you can't do it as a tisane. And for me, the, this is my philosophy, the more toxic is the plant, the more 
interesting is the plant from the scientific aspect. Because there are many, many more layers to decipher. Exactly. There are many more layers. And uh, honestly speaking, there was one day a guy, he told me, if you can find properties of plants which are toxic, and we, we call it invasive plants, we'll be very happy to produce and to cultivate it. Because the soil of Mauritius from one point is very good. You've got a lot of endemic plant which is not known abroad. All right. And this is the potential of Mauritius. I don't think Mauritius is in, uh, we can make a pharmaceutical industry making a synthetic drug on the market. It costs you billiards. So make, forget it. You don't have the money, you don't have the technology. And even if you make it, how are you going to market it? You so can't do it. We rather focus on what we have. Exactly. We focus what we have, what we have as a knowledge and something which is realistic. What I'm doing as I am a foreigner from Mauritius, I've got a Swiss passport, but I'm a Mauritian in heart, in blood. And what we are doing, we are doing a technology transfer. What we are using, what kind of technology and what we have, what we can do in the near future, not in something in 20 years, what we can do in one year, in two years, something very practical. It's, it is very commendable that you're sharing all your knowledge with Mauritius and you come here, you mentioned, three times a year to yeah. work with the various concerned authorities. Yeah. Uh, well, keep on doing what you're doing. Dr. Nadu, thank you very much for being thank with us. Thank you for your invitation. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now come to the end of this episode of Encounter. Uh, we have an email address which should be displaying on uh, the bottom of the screen. So please send us uh, your proposals and appreciations uh, for this uh, program. We will catch you again next time, next week, at the same time. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Sur vous.